Hello guys and welcome. Today I will show you a movie called 13 Ghosts. Spoilers ahead. The movie starts out in a junkyard, windy and smoky, a bunch of equipment is being brought in, as you find out, it is to capture a restless ghost called the Juggernaut. There is a ghost hunter guy called Cyrus Criticos and his psychic assistant Dennis Rafkin shouting orders, who turns out to be the organizer, and it's revealed he has done this 11 other times, collecting ghosts. Trying to catch the juggernaut several men, including Cyrus, are killed while the team is able to catch the ghost. A few weeks passed and Cyrus's nephew Arthur, a widower, is informed by Cyrus's estate lawyer, Ben Moss, that he has inherited Cyrus' mansion. Financially insecure, Arthur decides to move there with his two children, Kathy and Bobby, and their nanny, Maggie, after inheriting an unusual house from his uncle. Arthur and his family go to see the house and sign the papers to officially own it. A lawyer will be showing them around the place, but before they go in, a utility workman asks to check the breakers inside. Once inside the residence is made entirely of glass sheets inscribed with Latin phrases. As the family and their maid check things out, the utility man turns out to be Cyrus's assistant with the great telepathic ability, come to warn the family. He discovers that the 12 angry ghosts he and Cyrus captured are imprisoned in the house, held captive by the spells. The lawyer plans to leave and searches for his payment and turns up finding a large bag of money, but in lifting up the bag, triggers a mechanism that seals the house and releases the ghosts. He dies when a set of sliding doors cut him in half. Maggie and Bobby were playing and Bobby disappears. Dennis uses a pair of spectral glasses that allow the wearer to see the supernatural realm to avoid the ghosts. The Jackal, one of the most dangerous of the twelve, attacks Kathy and Arthur but they are saved by Kalina Aretzia, a spirit liberator who is attempting to free the ghosts. Kathy disappears, and the four adults gather in the library, where Arthur learns that Jean's ghost is also in the house. Kalina explains that the house is a machine, which opens up a portal to hell, using the ghosts as a power supply. This allows its user to see the past, present, and future. The only way to shut it down is through the creation of a 13th ghost from a sacrifice of love. Arthur realizes that he must become that ghost to save his children. Armed with the spectral glasses, Arthur and Dennis enter the basement to find the children. Dennis barricades Arthur behind glass to save him which allows the hammer and the juggernaut to beat Dennis to death. It is revealed that Cyrus faked his death to lure Arthur to the house. Kalina is his partner. Cyrus has orchestrated the abduction of Kathy and Bobby so that Arthur will become the 13th ghost, which will not stop the machine as Kalina had claimed, but trigger its activation. Cyrus kills Kalina and summons the ghost to activate the machine. In the main hall, Arthur witnesses all 12 ghosts orbiting a clockwork device of rotating metal rings, with his children at the center. He fights Cyrus while Maggie disrupts the machine's controls, releasing the ghost from its power and causing the machine to go haywire. The ghosts hurl Cyrus into the moving rings, slicing him to pieces. With the encouragement of Dennis Ghost, Arthur jumps through the machine safely to protect his children. The walls of the house shatter as the malfunctioning machine rips itself apart, freeing the ghosts. Jean's ghost tells them she loves them before she disappears. Maggie angrily declares she quits her nanny job, and the family peacefully leave the house. 